I live in rural Vermont and winter is coming. Harsh, long winter. And VDOT does an amazing job clearing our roads. But they use a lot of rust-making magnesium chloride soaked salt. So today, I'm preparing my 2022 Ram 1500 for a fresh coat of rust protection. And since this is my third season using it, I can honestly say the stuff works. I need to get under the truck, so I have this perfect spot in the yard that I use. So I picked up a mild solvent to help clean the dirt and grime from the underside. Meguiar's Super Degreaser. I'm diluting it to a four to one mix, so it needs a little water, then a gentle shake. To apply the cleaner, I'm going to use my super awesome Sun Joe electric pressure washer and a foam cannon. I'll share some links below of this stuff if you want to know exactly what I bought. I try to use every angle possible to get in all of the corners. The stuff goes fast, but a quick refill and ready to go. Keep in mind, this stuff is kind of harsh to breathe in. Uh, so be careful how you spray it near your face. At the very least, wear eye protection. Although the ground is wet, it really does pay to lay in it. You get a much better angle and you can see what you're doing. Under the hood, on the sides of the engine, you'll see the top of the frame rails. They get a little cleaner too. Now it's time for the pressure washer to clean off the degreaser. For the tight areas, I removed the long sprayer head and just use the handle to douse around the bumper and the trailer hitch. You just ultimately need to make sure you fully remove the cleaner so it doesn't affect the fluid film. It is a messy job, but so worth it. I also spray off the truck just in case the cleaner got on the body panels. This stuff can remove wax. I can see the dirt falling away but also I can see that the year's previous fluid film is still there. This stuff sticks so well. It helps to use a pressure washer. It does a great job of removing the dirt that the cleaner loosened up. It looks great. Not showroom new, but so much cleaner. That was a lot of work and I'm soaked. I decided to go get some rest and let it dry overnight and apply the fluid film in the morning. Fluid film will fill your nose and lungs in a bad way. It's not comfortable. So I highly recommend a good quality mask with proper filters. If you need one, I put links below in the description. Start by shaking well, attach the red straw, and get to work. I always start in the back with the trailer hitch. And then focus my efforts on three things. One, any tiny surface rust. Two, black painted steel. And three, bolt threads. If I see any rust at all, it means that that area is susceptible to more rusting. It gets a good coating. And I tend to avoid large flat body panel steel because that stuff goes through a washing and an e-coating at the factory that protects against rust. But anything that is simply painted black, like the frame rails, the brackets welded to the frame rails, the brackets bolted to the frame rails, any nuts and bolts, None of that stuff is e-coated. It's just regular old paint and it will rust if you ignore it. Don't spray the exhaust and avoid your brake rotors. And no need to waste the fluid film, obviously, on plastics. And since the underside is so complex, it will require multiple passes from multiple angles, multiple perspectives. You need to move your body and change your line of sight. When you think you have good coverage, as soon as you move, you'll realize you missed an entire area. And if you see a bolt, spray it. Someday you'll thank yourself. When I think I have the back covered pretty well, I move the truck so I can access the steel under the nose. Same thing, spray the painted steel, get multiple angles, and avoid spraying your serpentine belts. Pop the hood and get the top of the strut towers. Reach in and spray the top of the frame rails. And when I think I have good coverage, I start spraying inside frame holes. I bend the straw to get a good angle. 
and turn it as needed to spray in different directions. I try to spray enough inside the frame rail with the thought that it will ooze down and coat the inside bottom of the frame where most salty grimy stuff will settle and cause internal rust. I've seen the pros pour gallons of this stuff into frame rails, but for me and my household, we like DIY and the cans work very well if you are thoughtful about how you apply it and take your time. When the front is done, I will go front to back a couple more times, spraying inside every frame hole and looking for things I missed. When it looks good, I call it quits. Ready for another winter in rural Vermont. Hey, before I forget, I have a tip for you concerning the fluid film maintenance during the winter. It's kind of sticky. It will collect dirt, but do not use a high pressure washer to clean it. The fluid film will come off and the steel will be vulnerable to the road salt and it will rust. So what I do is I use a gentle rinse with warm water from the garden hose. I'll put a link actually below to a short video I made showing how I do it. Basically, I'm able to knock the heavy stuff off without removing the fluid film. So that's it. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. God bless you and have a safe and rust-free winter season. Peace.